So it was on October 13, 2015 when Sinew, the emulator for the Wii U, first launched. Amazingly enough, it was launched less than three years after the original Wii U console first came out. Now at first, Sinew was created as a proof of concept and it was able to load up Mario Kart 8 and The Legend of Zelda The Wind Walker HD. And while it was somewhat successful as a proof of concept, it was also full of bugs and you needed a rather powerful PC to run it. Fortunately, however, the developers continued to work on it and throughout the years it has been quite optimized. In fact, nowadays, you can even run Senyu on the latest integrated Intel or AMD graphics chip. As a matter of fact, the gameplay you see on the screen right now is running on a laptop using an integrated AMD Ryzen chip. It is also running in Batoseta. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Simu in Batoseta, and soon you too can start playing Wii U games on your Batoseta system. Let's do it. Greetings everyone and welcome to Batoseta Nation. So our first point of discussion is going to be the wiki page on Batoseta that talks about the same U emulator. As you can see here, uh, there's different formats that SEMU will accept so you can get up and running, uh, including these right here. There's also the WUP uh, file extension, okay? And then we also have the Lodine or the Lodine. I've heard it pronounced many different ways, so let's just stick with the Lodine uh, directory structure, okay? Because this format is already decrypted. These two right here are encrypted, okay? And if you have encrypted files, you have to mess around with the keys, okay? Uh, so we're going to focus for this tutorial on the Lodine file structure. Uh, and of course, the game has an extension of RPX, okay? But you may already have these uh, format. You may have the, these two formats uh, in your possession and you've got the keys. But in case you don't have the keys, uh, Google is going to be your friend. Uh, and you need two types of keys. You need the common key, uh, which you can get if you Google uh, Wii U common key, you can find it rather easily. Okay, uh, It's not that hard. Uh, and then you also need the actual keys for the actual games themselves. Again, if you Google Wii U keys, you can find them quite uh, easily. Okay. Uh, and I also want to send it perhaps this time. I also have the Wii U uh, keys as well. Okay. Now then, if you don't own any backup games, you have a hard time trying to find them. Uh, all the games I'm going to work with today are games that I have purchased for my uh, Wii U console. Uh, but again, you have a hard time trying to find them. In fact, if you go to our trusted uh, internet archive, uh, you might have some hits, right? Uh, including this one right here. And you think, just, okay, I found them. Uh, but if you go into show all, uh, you also come across the, all these files. And again, you may think to yourself, okay, I got them, right? Uh, but if you click on the view contents, it turns out this is not the format that the Wii U emulator is going to be able to use at all. In fact, all these files you see here will run on the actual Wii U console uh, and not on the emulator. So none of these uh, will work at all. Uh, again, you might want to try to back up games you already have. Uh, a site that you might also find them uh, is this site right here, Zipperto. Okay, uh, and if you do go that website, I'm not going to link it, but if you do go there, uh, focus again on on these loading file structures. Okay, so you can get them up and running. Another site you need to go to uh, is the Simu webpage, and on that webpage you can find uh, a site that has all the compatible games that work with the same U emulator. Uh, so if some game doesn't work on the Windows version, it's not going to work on Batoseta as well. If it work really well in Windows, most likely it's going to work really well in Batoseta. So take a look at those uh, games that will work really well uh, in SEMU, okay? So once you got your games backed up, then go ahead and copy that into a portable hard drive. And then we're going to plug in that portable hard drive into the Batoseta system, and we're going to copy and paste it uh, from there. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. 
Before we proceed, I also want to talk about the keys for SAMU emulator. In case you do have the keys, uh, there's one spot you need to put them on. Okay, so let's go into BIOS and make sure you have this selected. Show hidden case. All right, go into SAMU, and that's where you copy and paste everything. Okay, you can either open up the file, put it there, or if you already have the file, just copy and paste it. Make sure it's underscore. Okay, because it is case sensitive. And that's it. And I'm going to my portable hard drive where I've got the, the files right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select all, and copy, and go into ROMs folder, look for the Wii U, and then just go ahead and paste everything, okay? Okay, this is going to take a while. I think it's over 50 gigabytes, so. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this, and when it's done, I'll resume. Okay, so let's go ahead and press start, and let's go into game settings, updates, game lists, and then it should find Wii U. There it is, I found Wii U. So it's found 12 games. Let's go ahead and press it. And unfortunately, this is what you're going to see when you first get into the Wii U after you copied everything, okay? Uh, Unfortunately, you have to do this manually. So, what you got to do is go to each and every single one of them, okay, and find out what the game is on a piece of paper and write down what the game is. So, engine, let's go ahead and press that one. Let's figure out what it is. Let it load up to the title screen so you can figure out what it is. Oh, I saw it. It's Wipeout. And let's make sure that it is Wipeout. Okay, so there it is. It is white box. So let's go ahead and get out. Press start and the hot key, and it gets you out. All right, so piece of paper, again, go through all of them, right? So let's go in this next one Hawaii. Let's find out what that game is. Okay, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, You. That's the game. So, again, write that down on a piece of paper. And let's go ahead and get out of it. All right, so again, you go through the entire list, writing down what each file name corresponding to what game it is, okay? And once you do all that, then you can go ahead and, and press select or the back button and go into Game Options. I'm going to edit this game's metadata, press that, and then just forget the name for the time being, just go straight into script, okay? Sometimes it may find it, but most likely it's not going to find the correct one. So go into input, it's a manual input, right? And from there, you can put the name of the game. In this case, it's Wipeout. And there it is, it found it. Go ahead. Hit enter, and it'll download the information. And then make sure you press save. And there it is. Okay, the next one, same thing. Go, go press select, go into game options, go into edit this game's metadata, go into scrape. And it's not either of these right here so going back to input and then we put need for speed most wanted you and should find it and there it is right there okay select that one save okay 
Again, go through go through this entire list. I'm gonna pause it, my recording here so I can go through the whole list and save you some time. And then when I resume, all these games will be scraped. Okay? See you in a bit. Okay, so we went through all that process. I got them pretty much scraped uh, and was able to find everything. Now you can change, of course, the how thing looks. Go into the back or select button and go in here. And I can choose that. The boxes have already been downloaded. Or you can go into this. Okay. I'm going to pick a different theme altogether. My favorite theme, about to set a club. This is the way I like it. Okay, the videos. The videos are not there. Okay, so I press start. Press go to scrape. Uh, this account here, this is the one that usually has the videos, screen scraper. Uh, and usually you will need an account, otherwise, it'll give you a hassle. Uh, I talk about more about this in my video uh, scraping tips, okay? So you can look at that video, but I have an account with them, so I'm going to go ahead and, and use that account to scrape uh, some of the videos for these games, all right? So I'll, I'll do that. I'm going to pause it, and I'll do that, and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I got it just the way I wanted with video snaps and the box art. And by the way, if it doesn't find a video snap, uh, you can manually do that by going to YouTube, download it on YouTube, and then from there you can manually install it on Batocera. I explained this process in my video, you can find this on the channel, called Sc Scraping Tips for Batocera. So look that up and I explain the process how you can do this manually, all right? Okay, so. Let's go ahead and let me show you what I'm running this on, okay? I'm running this on a Ryzen 7 4700U chip, okay? All right, let's go ahead first with, I'm gonna focus on two games for this tutorial, Mario Kart and The Legend of Zelda, because I know that's everybody's favorite. So let's go ahead and select that one. I'm going to see an error message. It's telling me you must perform a system update. Okay. Um, there's two ways to fix that in case you have this version. This is version 0 0.9. So go ahead and close that out. Go to F1. Go to ROMs. Let's say you don't have. Um, Let's say you don't have an older version. You cannot find an older version, okay, to this game. Quick and easy solution is go in there, go into content, go into system, go into version. So you see that I have 0 0.9.0. You change that to and save it. It should load up, okay? this load it up it should load up you can see it worked okay let's go ahead and get out of this now let's say you do have the update files you've downloaded somewhere. Go ahead and get out of this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back the way it was. Go into applications. All right, there's the app we need to load up. Go ahead and double click on it. Sometimes it's slow to load up, so don't double click it again because you might create two copies of the same app. 
All right. First thing we need to do is go into options, go into general settings. All right. Here you cannot change much with the exception of putting a frame per second meter so you can look at it. The top right, and you can choose whatever color you want. Okay. Anything else here pretty much will be overwritten by about to set. All right. And we also need to add the game pass. So let's go ahead and put add. And it's not very obvious where it's at. Go ahead and click on this one. That's the root folder. Go into user data. Go into ROMs. And then look for Wii U. Right there. And that's it. Open. And close that out. And there you go. All right. So we're going to update this game. Okay, so I'll go into file. All right, so once again, it's asking me where to find it, right? So <clears throat> if you installed it on your ROMs folder, then of course you go into your ROMs folder for the Wii U, okay? Maybe somewhere around there, okay? I didn't put it there. So I'll go back over here. I have an importable hard drive because I don't need to copy those updates and DLC into the main ROMs folder. Uh, once it's installed, you don't have to worry about those files or folders, okay? So I go into media, and there's my portable hard drive. Go in there, and I go in here, and uh, let's go ahead and install the update first. Open it, meta, select that file, open and then it's going to do it. If it's a big update, it's going to take a while. You can see that it's kind of slow. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this section. So I have to wait for this, all right? Okay, I did it. Let's go ahead now and install the DLC. Back to Meta. Meta. Go ahead and open that. All right, it's also going to be kind of slow, so I'll go ahead and fast forward this section as well. All right, we're done. You can see here it updated. There's a DLC, you can see that, and there's a version. Okay, so it went up. All right, let's go ahead and do the same for Mario Kart. Still game title. Go back up. Let's do the update first. Go to meta. You can see right now the version one is going to update it. You're going to see that. Yeah, you see that? Let's go ahead and also install the DLC. I'll go ahead and fast forward all this. All right, we are done. You can see there, that has changed, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get out of this and let's go ahead and play some Zelda. All right, so let's play Legend of Zelda in the default settings. Now I've got some shaders already cached, all right? See, it's barely playing 10 frames per second, between 10 and 12. It's really slow.
they can barely play this at all. But with the graphics packs, they can definitely improve gameplay. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So as you can see, it was pretty slow. We can improve upon that. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Go to F1. Let's go over to applications again. Go ahead and load it up again. All right. Now I can go in here and right click on it. And then see it says edit gra graphic packs, select that. Okay. And make sure you are connected to the internet. Okay. Make sure your Wi Fi is working. All right. Go ahead and go here. Press that. It found some stuff, right? You can do it for all the games you have, all the games you have on your Wii U, okay? And uh, let's see, graphics, you can choose that. Enhancements, okay? Let's go into mods, right here. I can tell it, let's just play at 30 frames per second. You can also mess around with this if you want to. Now, if it's still kind of slow, then you can lower it as well over here. You can choose 320 by 180 if you want to on the really slow computers, okay? But let's just go ahead and leave it there for the time being to see if it works. You also can change this as well. If you have an NVIDIA card, you choose that. So they don't, then we'll just use that. And any shadows too, you can also change that as well. We're going to leave it on default settings, okay? The only thing we really changed was uh, limiting the 30 frames per second. That's it, all right? Once, now to get out of this, you press Alt F4. That gets out of that. And just go ahead, exit. And close that out. Let's go back in there. And let's go ahead and play it. I'll fast forward all this introduction stuff, all right?
So as you can see, there was a tremendous performance increase when we limited the game to 30 frames per second. And by the way, that was the original default setting. The 60 frames per second is something was added bonus to the game. And again, this is running off a Ryzen 4700U integrated chip off a laptop. And I suspect if you run this on a new computer, the performance would be even better because you can set the new computer to performance mode and thereby increasing the performance of this chip. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll play with Mario Kart. I'm going to run this right now at default settings. So you can see it plays really well. So the first thing I want to show you that's running off version 4.1, uh, that means that the update installed correctly, okay? And the second thing I want to show you, you're going to see too that the DLC installed properly, okay? So everything is working just fine. Let's go ahead and start playing. Okay, as you saw, Mario Kart plays well in default settings. But let's go see what we can do with the graphics packs. Let's get out of this. Press F1. Let's go into Applications. Let's go ahead and load up SAMU. All right. First thing we want to do, we want to go into Options. Let's go into Input Settings. Okay. So it turns out, just like Dolphin Emily, you can set up different game profiles. For every game you have, okay, with the game pads. Um, I tried working on this with uh, the Ibit Do, and it wasn't really working well. I don't know, for some reason, it just wasn't working. But an Xbox 360 controller works really well, okay? So make sure whatever controller you have, it's set on X input mode. Okay, so for this game, I like to have this reverse. So let's go ahead and reverse it. And then I can go ahead and create the game profile for me, right? Let's call it Mario Kart. And I can save it. Okay? You can see it's there. All right? Uh, so you can create as many profiles you want for a new game you want. Okay? And then get out of there. And then let's go ahead and right click on that. And then select Edit Game Profile. So we're going to that. Then we're going to Controller. And then from there we can select it. Okay? And again, every time this game loads up, it's going to load up this gamepad profile. Right? To get out of this, go ahead and hit Alt F4. Right? Now we can go into the graphics packs. Edit graphics packs. Okay. I have already pre-downloaded the graphics pack. So again, to download that, just go here. For any game you have, and you're about to set a system. Okay? And for this one, I like to have this removed. And let's go into the graphics. This is the default settings. So you can either bring it down. If you have a weak computer system, you bring it down. You get a more powerful system you have, the greater you can bring it up here, OK? I'm going to try to play with 1080p. And for this, let me go ahead and choose Ultra. And this, let me go ahead and choose 2x, just to see how well it plays. I'm a Ryzen 4700U chip. For this right here, advanced options, I have tried to play that in the past. Every time I play with it, it crashes. So I will not mess with this. Okay? And to get out of this, go ahead, press Alt F4. And then go ahead and exit. And let's go ahead and try it out. All right? 
I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this and get into the gameplay. As you can see, the frames did drop uh, about under 10 or so, but it looks a lot prettier. So depending upon your system, you can mess around with the graphics pack. So you can either bring it up or bring it down. Okay, so that about wraps everything up. If you found this tutorial useful and helpful, please consider liking it. That will help me out with the YouTube algorithms. I would really appreciate it. And yes, I've got more tutorials coming up real soon. Uh, and in fact, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Now, I know that somewhat some of you are thinking, you're thinking, when are you going to do that PS3 emulator tutorial? I've had a lot of requests. So I tell you what, why don't you inspire me if you're not a subscriber and consider subscribing. As soon as I get to 500 subscribers, we'll celebrate by me putting out that tutorial shortly thereafter. So go ahead and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I've got more video content coming soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon on Batocera Nation. Bye.